Hi, David from PowerPro. Now, anytime a technician is servicing uh, an electric vehicle or hybrid vehicle with the high voltage battery, uh, you may need to disconnect the high voltage system in order to safely work on the vehicle. This is to prevent any risk of electrocution when working on systems such as air conditioning or something like that. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to safely disconnect the high voltage battery. So first, there's actually two separate electrical systems in most vehicles. The low voltage 12 volt system you see in most normal cars that runs all the lights and accessories. And then there's the high voltage system that actually powers the motors and the drivetrain. The high voltage power comes from rechargeable battery packs that most cars currently in the 300 to 400 volt range, but some new vehicles are as high as 800 volts. Now inside the vehicle's high voltage battery pack is typically a set of contactors. It's kind of like a really, really big relay that connects and disconnects the high voltage battery. But there's also a safety interlock that can be removed that breaks the circuit and prevents any high voltage current even if the contactor is somehow energized. Anytime you're working around voltages this high, and we're talking three to 400, approaching 800 volts, the potential for injury, even death, is quite real. So using correct and proper safety equipment is vital in this case. At a minimum, insulated gloves, with the rubber inner liner and the leather protector outer and a face shield or safety glasses at a minimum. So to verify that the high voltage system is indeed disconnected and has no voltage on it, you want to do what's called a live dead live test using either your voltmeter or a recommended two pole tester. But either one, you want to verify the meter's operation first. So the easiest way is to probe the 12 volt battery you should get a reading, so now your reader's good. Then you can check your high voltage. You should get no reading or a zero. Then return to your 12 volt battery and verify you get a reading again. So that verifies the meter was operating before you checked your high voltage, and then it's still operating after you checked your high voltage. Nothing happened to the meter in between. So you, that verifies that your zero reading was legitimate. Now you can do these voltage checks with the standard multimeter, as long as it has the correct high voltage safety rating. But there are some advantages of using a two pole tester over a standard multimeter. The VT750 is safety rated to 1000 volt Cat 3. It's pretty much the highest electrical safety rating, typically only found in more expensive meters. And when working around high voltages, this reduces the risk that the meter itself or the leads are any possible source of arcs or shorting. The VT750 LCD probes also have retracting insulators around the probe test points. So this prevents any accidental shorts between the probes or any surrounding objects. The VT750 also has one fixed probe on the tools housing with the second two pole tester on a short lead. Most multimeters have removable leads with different connections. And I could inadvertently put those leads in the wrong connection and get a false reading. Most multimeters also have a large selector dial with lots of different settings and different test modes. And I could accidentally set it in the wrong mode and think I'm reading zero, but I'm not. So having a tool with fixed probes, no mode selection, just reads voltage when it gets voltage, guarantees that it's going to reduce those risks. Uh, another point, most multimeters are battery powered, so when their batteries get low, many meters may not respond at all or measure correctly, even though the display is still showing. So again, the VT750 does not need a battery to work. It has a battery, but it will turn on and measure accurately with any voltage above 12 volts, even if the battery is removed. You can be 100% sure if this tool does not indicate voltage, there is no voltage or voltage risk. The VT750 LCD will also indicate the presence of voltage of 100, above 100 volts while only using the main body probe. Uh, just clamp your hand around this, probe onto the voltage, it will indicate that there is voltage there. So these might be limited risks when testing with a multimeter, but when the stakes can quite literally be your life, it's best to use the safest tool possible and the VT750 LCD is a tool genuinely purpose-built for this application to provide 100% reliable, safe voltage checks so you can be sure when you're servicing EV and hybrid vehicles, you are 100% safe. 
So here's the step-by-step -step on how to safely disconnect the high voltage battery in hybrid and electric vehicles. Now, first, I always recommend scanning the vehicle and storing new trouble codes before disconnecting any of the batteries. Second, and this is important, remove the key fob from the vehicle and secure it in a place it cannot be easily accessed while the vehicle is being serviced. Third, disconnect the 12 volt battery by removing the negative battery cable. Uh, locate and remove the high voltage safety interlock. This interlock breaks the high voltage connection. So even if inadvertently the contactors are energized, no high voltage should reach the high voltage circuit. Now wait 10 minutes for the high voltage system to completely discharge. Then perform your voltage check using the live dead live voltage check method we talked about. You're looking for a zero reading or no response from the high voltage output. So you, that verifies that your zero reading was legitimate. Therefore, it's safe to go ahead and work around the high voltage circuit.